Hello guys. Um, just wanted to show you <clears throat> a bit of a little crazy project I've been going at for a month or so here. And um, I think you might recognize this. It's an ordinary Raspberry Pi 2 model B, I believe. Um, and uh, it doesn't need any cooling whatsoever, to be honest. But as it is overclockable, I thought, uh, ah, well, what the hell? Let's see if we can water cool it. So, um, uh, with some help from Alpha Cooling, I um, managed to get this little setup together. Um, first off, we have a radiator. Excuse me for the very poor movie quality. This is an Alpha Cool 2 times 40 radiator. Yeah, I know. It's microscopic. And on this we have two really, really small noise blocker fans. Took a little bit of modification to get those on there, but they work. Um, we have a small um, pump uh, reservoir set up here. Uh, not much of a pump and not much of a reservoir either, but uh, <laughs> they actually look huge uh, in this context. Um, the water blocks are also from Let's see, Alpha Cool. Was it Alpha Cool? Um, I will put uh, the exact specifications in the description, but um, they're bought from the same place. Uh, and they are apparently uh, meant for cooling memory circuits or some such on a graphics card. If you do sort of a custom water cooling job on one of those. Uh, they're on there now with sort of a double sided tape which comes with the water blocks. Uh, and they're tiny. 15 by 15 millimeters if I remember correctly. And that tape isn't really that good. I opted for the tape though because I wanted to maybe take this apart some, sometime in the future. There is also some kind of um, there's not really a good way of clamping it down as you would do with an ordinary processor water block, for example. So the only other option is really to um, use some kind of, there's some kind of epo epoxy um, heat transferring glue you can use. But as I said, I opted for the tape because I, I wanted to get it apart sometime in the future maybe. Uh, these two doohickeys are uh, voltage regulators, bought from, let me get cables out of the way here a bit, and see them better. <coughs> Not easy to do with one hand, need to get myself a tripod or something. These are voltage regulators, bought from... Um, Chinese company, Ali, whatever, you probably find it if you Google on it. Um, uh, variable voltage regulators. The idea here is to get uh, 12 volts in, uh, have one of them variable between like 7 or 12 volts for the pump and uh, the fans, and um, the other one I want to set on 5 volts to. Supply power to the to the pipe. <coughs> um, the acrylic board, by the way, that's <laughs> a bit of a fun story. It's um, that's actually a piece of an old cell door. <laughs> yeah, I work for the Swedish prison department as a caretaker. So um, mounting, nothing special. It's a bit hard to get the. The hose is right though. I had to do some uh, finagling with, as you see, these are, I can't remember the sizes now, I'm 
put the description down in the description, uh, the specifications down in the description, as I said. Um, and these are, I believe, quarter inch, and um, these are a lot smaller, so I had to do some hose stretching to get this to work. But it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not leaking, so I'm guessing that's okay. Let's see if I can do a little test run of the pump here, just to hook it up to a 12 volt supply, which I guess I have to do with one hand and some use of my teeth. Let's see. This is really professional, guys. Really, really professional. Get that out of the way. Um, by the way, this isn't a sponsored build. Or anything like that. I just did it for the fun of it. Uh, no, why do you ask? Rightly, maybe. There we go. Pump going. Well, as Sir Edmund Hillary said when climbed Mount Everest, why did you do it? Uh, well, basically, because it's there. And you see, the, the it still needs uh, quite a bit of bleeding. Fans aren't working, uh, cable management to do here and stuff like that. And this is the pump running on 12 volt with quite a bit of air in the system, so uh, a bit noisy. I'm probably going to run that down to 7, 8 volts or something later on just to keep it quiet. Um, this system doesn't really need much <laughs> in the way of cooling capacity, as you understand. Hello. Um I guess that's it for now. And um as I said I um I'm gonna try to get some um uh, specifications and, and uh names of places where I order this stuff down in the description. And uh I'll come back with uh, some more videos when this is done and up and running. Thank you for now.